and giving the dusty men attention. And when I say dusty, it's the cheap, lying, scamming, scamming, left, 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 children. You blew it. This henny got me fe 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 feeling like DDG. But he's super inconsistent and just low key, like rude and feminine. feminine. You blew it. I want him and got him, but I don't let him tell me what to do. I don't let him tell me what to do. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another short video today. And today we're going to be talking about something that I think I've brought up a few times in, in a few previous videos. But this time we're going to talk about it a little bit more. And this is going to be Dusties. Now, if you don't know what a Dusty is, it is from my, uh, <laughs> from what I've uh, been able to find, Dusty basically just means whatever a woman wants it to mean in that particular moment. So you can have all the money in the world and she'll call you dusty because you don't buy her that 20K Louis Vuitton bag, or you can be poor as hell and she'll call you a dusty because you uh, have on an old pair of shoes. So it really doesn't matter um, why they use these terms, but I just think it's interesting because they will literally call every man dusty whenever uh, that man decides that she just isn't a good person and decides to find someone better, you know, better looking, better attitude, better personality, just better all around. And women can't accept that. So let's go ahead and let's get into these clips again. My name is Rat Boy. Let's get into it. I think something that we need to stop doing as a whole is glorifying and giving the dusty men attention. And when I say dusty, it's the cheap, lying, scamming, left their children, on the down low, ain't no good type of men. Stop giving them so much attention. Stop talking about them. Anytime you want something to change, you got to starve it out. But you're talking about these men right now. You're literally making a video about these dusty men that you're trying to not talk about. And this is what I'm saying. Like, she probably just ended a situation ship she's been pumped and dumped by the same five or six dudes and now they're all dusty to her and now she's ready to settle down with a nice man that has his stuff together and uh but you know that man isn't going to meet all of her criteria and she's probably got about 20 of them in her inbox right now in her dms that she's ignoring and this is just the reality of it but uh you know women get to choose and, and that's the important part okay and a lot of times, um, sometimes those men might be acting that way because of your behavior. But stop giving them so much attention. Stop talking about them on the internet. Stop posting them. Because there's a ton of good men out here. There are plenty of good men. Honestly. There's a lot of good men out there. They're, they're just not, they're not up to your standards. You know, they aren't, probably you don't find them good looking. Maybe they're not tall enough. Maybe they don't work out. But, uh... You choose to ignore these dudes. You choose to leave them on red, and uh, you don't give them the time of day. Now, this woman isn't. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say she isn't. A, I mean, she, she's not. She's she's attractive. I mean, let, let's be real. But her attitude is a lot of times what kind of turns the pages on some of these dudes that she's probably meeting. They see her attitude, the way she talks, and um, it's just gonna be a turnoff for a lot of men that uh would actually be good men that would want to settle down with her, but. You know, looks like she's probably in her thirties. She probably has a couple couple kids herself. You know, she probably has about five or six dudes that are still kind of in her orbit that she messes around with on a nightly basis. So no guy is gonna take her seriously. Uh those men are just gonna be another, you know, notch uh that she can take home with her that will go home with him. And that's gonna be probably until she gets a few cats in her fifties and you know, that's going to be it. These women do not think about the future. Once they hit their 20s, they want to have their hot girl summers, independent, boss babe attitude, nine or 10 dudes a week. And, um, you know, these are all strange men they're meeting on social media, obviously. But then once they get older, they realize that 
no man really wants to settle down with them. No man's going to give them a ring. And now every, every man is dusty and they don't need to talk about them unless they're making a video on TikTok. And I get annoyed sometimes when I hear women say, oh, there's no good men. Not all of them are bad. Not all of them are bad. They're not. They're not. And I think that the good men need a little more praise. And y'all need to come up out the woodworks. And then some of them not even on the internet. Mo majority of the good men not on the internet. They're not. And that is 100% true. That is what's happening now. A large majority of men that are trying to date, trying to find a woman, they're not doing it online anymore. A lot of them aren't doing it at all. A lot of them are just concentrating on themselves. They're going to the gym. They're improving themselves. And stuff like that will naturally happen once a man does that. Once a man decides to start working out and starts making money and starts to concentrate on themselves, you will start to see women start to smile at you. They'll start to come up to you. They'll start talking to you. They will give you these hints like they're interested in you, and that is something that just naturally happens. Women will gravitate and will go towards men that they seem are uh, high value in their eyes. And whenever they see a guy that's been working out, that you know can spend money, and uh, they will gravitate toward that man. Now, whether or not that man is going to spend money on her, that's a different story. I personally would never spend money on a woman, but that's just me. However, uh, some of these women think, oh, well, he drives a nice car. He has a nice house. He's going to spend money on me. That's really not the case. And those same women will turn around and call that man dusty. Let's watch out this next clip and let's see what's going on here. Okay, so there's this like man that texted me and I really wanted to text him back, but he's super inconsistent and just low key, like rude and feminine because he wants to be chased. But every time that I want to do something that's self-destructive, aka texting a man that doesn't deserve my time, I'm going to replace that with something that's good for me. So tonight, it's running on the treadmill. Yeah, anytime you've got a man in your inbox that is not deserving, instead of picking up your phone and texting him back and wasting your time and hurting your feelings, do something good for you instead. I promise you, your future self will be so happy that you did. And this next video is very short. I just let it play. But uh, basically, this is the other end of the coin where we have women that are just posting their L's online. You know, whenever a guy hops in your inbox, just get on the treadmill. Why not? You know, just do something for yourself. This is what they're doing. I completely agree. Whenever you want to better yourself and improve yourself, absolutely. You should definitely do that. I don't know why she made a video about it. I'm not sure why she only does it whenever strange men inbox her. That's really none of my business, honestly. But uh, this same woman will then turn around, give attention to the 6'2", six 6'6", six pack, six figure dude. He'll pump and dump her six or seven times, and then she'll cry about it next week on TikTok. But that is going to be the end of the video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever been called Dusty? And I will check you guys out later. Rat Boy, out.